Hey, this your boy Bobby Fishcare. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Blood, man. Y'all already know Fishcare family, Bobby Fishcare. Tap in, go get that, y'all. Turn the scale on, I have to start my freaking day. Got some little who wants some hard, got no side, got no wants to play. All right, so we got Bobby Fishcale off the porch with us today. Yes, sir. How you feeling today, bro? Man, you know I'm great. Every day I wake up free. That's real right <laughs> there, man. I appreciate you stopping by today, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to, man. Yeah. Love this porch. I got a sign that did, too. Where the mark at? Yeah. <laughs> you just brought a whole bag of them right oh, now, yeah. so we good. <laughs> so what, what do you got working here in Atlanta for this trip for you, man? Shit, man. You know, man, we the real. We, we the g Thug. We just shot a crazy video. Um, Miss the Trap, y'all look for that shit. Real star, say cheese there, well. But um, I'm just working, man. Everywhere I go, you know, real people tap in. Engineers, producers, shout out to everybody. I'm just working, work, work, work. Yeah, I saw you was just in L.A., right? I was just in L.A., jumped out the plane, straight to the video shoot. <laughs> How you liking this rap lifestyle you're living right now, man? It's like, it's just like the trap. Like, whatever I do, I'm going to treat it like the trap. So, you feel me? It's just another trap. Mm -hmm. Get out what you put in, like I always say. Yo. All right, man. So, you got to talk to us about Quincy, Florida, man. I think you're the first person I ever even met from Quincy. You been there before? No. Oh, shit. That's you what been I'm there? saying. Anybody been there? Nah. But um, Quincy is different, man. Like, you wouldn't even believe it. Like, it's just so small, like. And it's still so country, like you feel me, but it's savage, like you get your issues. Like it's crazy because like everybody know everybody. So if you do something to him, what you call it, them already over there, and it really go down. Hmm. You feel me? A whole lot of drugs, a whole lot of everything. Yeah. Well, besides the streets, what else is there to do there? See, I mean, well, Maybe get a job at like McDonald's, Burger King. It's like a tomato factory or something. Ain't no college, ain't no mall, ain't no. It's just the country. <laughs> you get out like either you gonna like it's people been in the same spot their whole life. Like you feel me? It's people tried used to be good. You feel me? Tried dope and make it back. Like so, one wrong move and you out of the. Cause it's like you already just barely making it. So at what age would you say you jumped off the porch? What porch? Was there a porch? Yeah, we didn't have no porch. <laughs> I was born in the street. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is it true you really saw a junkie smoking a rock in first grade? Yeah, probably before that. Wow. That's <laughs> one of the first times I remember. Yeah. yeah, like that was normal. Then was the people we hang with. Mm -hmm. me? The Jenkins was the ones that give us 50 cents or whatever. Me? So it was just normal. What would you say is uh, one of the biggest life lessons you learned while being out in the streets? Yeah. Go hard. Go hard and stay out that dope. You hear me? Don't hit that dope. Whatever you do, don't hit that dope. <laughs> yeah. And you went to prison before, right? Yeah, four times. Four times, wow. Yeah. I ain't glorifying that either. I hate it. But you know, I maintain. How long you been home now? I got out what last March? So like March. 2019? Yeah, so I've been out like a year. Okay. Okay. Well like a year and a half. Yeah. Mm hmm So what did being locked up teach you about life and you know how to move around differently? See, I got locked up so young and so many times, like it taught me a lot. Like being locked up and being around like different people took me out of the Quincy and like, like that's the only thing that took me out of Quincy really, like being locked up. And I remember I was like 17, 18, I got locked up in Orlando. And like all the jits in there, like 18, 19, buying cars, got 50,000 gold in their mouth. I'm like, damn, like what? They like, yeah, I trap swing, I trap swing. You gotta think what well, tour is coming. We charging this for a ground, we doing this, we doing that. So I'm like, damn, I'm from Quincy. Well, these people poet, so you can't expect to make a lot of money. You feel me? So like, ah, you feel me? So like, I got out of that. Like, you know, I just went going to Tallahassee. Like, just 
I pull up anywhere. They'll tell you I was legit. Wherever it's, it's savage that, that's where I was at. So I just learned a lot of people. I met a lot of people from Tallahassee. Like everybody in the streets on all sides in Tallahassee know me like. But they know I'm from Quincy. They just respect me, like, you feel me? Because I've been out there doing it. Yeah. And like me doing it showed them how to do it, you feel me? So it's like a lot of people do it. Real shit. Yeah. And your brother's in the feds right now? Yeah, he's been there since 99. Oh, wow. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he caught me rapping blue cheese like two weeks ago. Messed my head up. I was like, yeah. I like the biggest award I done got, like, you feel me? Like, he ain't have to listen to it over the phone, and he ain't have to be on YouTube. Yeah, he got it on his uh, kiosk, email, whatever. Yeah. I so, think he's probably pretty proud of the progress you've made in your life, huh? Yeah, you know, he called me every day. We chop it up. He proud, though. Everybody proud, like, except for the fake people who fake proud. But, yeah, everybody proud. How much more time does he have? They gave him, what, 36? True. Nine nine, he get out like he got like fifteen more years. Wow. wow. All right. So, how long you been making music now? Since like twenty ten, hmm. like twenty ten, like ten years. Your pops was a DJ. Yeah, my pops was a DJ. Yeah. Yeah, but he had to get out of that because like that club life, you feel me? Like you see everybody problems, you feel me? You see everybody beef. And like, can Quincy, like, you gonna get, they gonna kill you, like, they not just gonna beat you, yeah, you gonna die, like, you feel me? So you don't even wanna go through it with nobody, especially back then, like, at the club, daddy DJing, somebody beefing, three people dead. Next weekend, he DJing again, two people dead, you feel me? Just True. mentally, it's like, too much, you feel me? And they feel like it's his fault, you know, you playing the music. So, hmm. just life. So he just fell back from that. He just chilling on. Who'd you grow up listening to? Everybody. I listen to everybody. I'm talking about from old music, country music. Like, you know, I done been at work camps where, like, Graceville ain't no radio station. Hmm. You got to just listen to whatever come on the radio. I just listen to everything. Were you taking your music serious before prison? I be mean, I take everything serious. Like I always took it serious. You know, I was spending my money on this shit. I ain't been spend no money and be bullshit. Like and the word the lyrics I was spending, like I won lines, so I've been taking it serious. What was the first song that you had that kind of blew up and gave you a buzz? Shit, like on my first mixtape, the first song on the when I was legit. Went crazy, like still platinum in the street, probably diamond. But like everybody telling me I need to reshoot it, redo it, whatever, whatever. But I'm just trying to keep going forward. Ain't no need to go back. Like I got too much to talk about. What year was that that you dropped that first tape? 2015. Okay. I was on the run. I was on the run. Like being on the run always helped me run it up though. Like, I wouldn't go nowhere. I ain't spending nothing, you feel me? I'm keeping everything, like, I'm breaking it down. I'm sitting in the house all day. Air strong, air strong, air strong, air strong, air strong, you feel me? I'm hitting the road daily. I don't care, you feel me? Yeah, y'all got them over there for that. I'm finna pull up. Y'all got them not for that. I'm finna pull up. Y'all want them over there for this. Y'all finna go get them, then pull up. So, it was like, I was all in. But I was so blessed because I'd never get flipped for, like, a big play, you feel me? It'll always be a simple mistake, you feel me? Just getting comfortable on the run. <clears throat> Running so long. And how's your transition been, you know, coming from the streets into, into rap full time, man? It, it's, it's been easy because, like, they don't want me to change, you feel me? They want me to be me. Like, they love me, you feel me? Ain't no. We just want your body and we gonna put you on this, whatever, you feel me? Nah, keep doing what you doing, you feel me? So I just like, it's just less in the bandos, less on the corner, less at the gambling game. More studio, 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 studio. But other than that, the hustle, like the hunger, the grind, like I feel like when I sign, 
I had to start over from scratch. You feel me? It's like when you was downhill, it's a level. Now you at a new level. You at the bottom. You ain't up there with them boys. So it's a whole nother grind. <clears throat> you got to get hungrier. So why'd you choose Rock Nation? I'm sure every label was reaching out to you at that point. I choose Rock Nation. It's just like, it's Rock Nation. It's like, they the biggest. It's like, they the biggest. It's like, I mean, I could have went with an artist. You know, a lot of artists, you know, reaching out like, and I could have been getting chains and round, round, or they give me this, give me that. But I ain't really want that, you feel me? I want like my own label, Fish Scale Family, like, you feel me? I want generational, you feel me? I need, I need some legs on this, so like, you feel me? I want to give other people a chance. So when we went, you know, they was with it, you feel me? Like, they had the meeting or whatever, lawyers, whatever. Like, I remember the, uh, my lawyer came out. You no, know, we was in the car, my lawyer text Dizzy. He was like, FYI, Jay's in the me. <laughs> but I know, like, that come from us arguing for the Fish Girl family, like, not just one. But everything worked out good, like, you feel me? So, made it to the Rock All Rock. Have you gotten to meet uh, Jay Z? Yeah, yeah. Jay Z, very humble, very cool. Like, he, he like, how you think he would have been, like, before the money? That's how I see him, like, you feel me? Just laid back, even if he's like trapping or whatever, just on the block, but moving like a boss. Like, he was talking to a lady and I was really being kind of rude, you feel me? But I had to speak to him because I figured like, man, it might be the last time I see him because I had <laughs> saw him moving around like three, four times. Mm -hmm. I was like, excuse me, Mr. Carter, I have a fish here. So he stand up, tapped me out, you know, thinking he probably would have hand saying, but he just went back to talking to the lady. It was, it was crazy. It was an epic moment. Shout out to Emery, Mim Bleak. I forgot his sister name. It's very family oriented, like family. People he was rapping about on Reasonable Doubt still yeah. there unless they played, you feel me? So it's just like, I don't know, it was the energy. It was the energy, like they was looking for authenticity. Like they wanted real. You feel me? Like anybody else would just want some money. So it was just kind of like a whole different feeling. Mm -hmm. It was different. All right. So I almost about. missed that trip too. Really? Yeah, I was like, damn, they can't do it over the phone. The <laughs> fly was like, yeah, hey, nah. He was like, nah, man, you got to go, man. This for real. He like, because I was making the play. He was like, man, get that, get that dude the dope and the phone. <laughs> he was like, you ain't going to need it no more. <laughs> I'm like, man, it's like one in the morning and the flight was at five. Mm. So I'm telling him like, yeah, all right, whatever, whatever. But when I went home, I knew I couldn't go to sleep. So I called Young, Young YK, I called Young. So Young, turn. Oh, boy, it's over with, what? We out to speak, what? We gone, what? Well, I'm finna bring the chain. You want the AP? Let me call Julie, see if I can get a link to got the AP, but it was one in the morning, like, Oh, I'm finna bring you this. You want my Gucci sock? What it is? You need to do this, do that. So he pull up to the crib. I live like in Quincy, you feel me? He live in Tallahassee. Like two in the morning, he pull up. So we just smoked and talking. And that's how I kind of like stayed up and made it to the airport on time. And Fly was calling me. But I went answer for him, make it seem like I missed the flight. So when I got to Atlanta, <laughs> I called him or whatever. He was like, yo, man, that's crazy, man. I thought you missed the flight, man. I was trying to find you another flight. I've been blowing you up. Hmm. It worked out good, though. Shout out to Matt Diddy, Fly, Shari, Omar, whole Rock Nation. Yeah. All right. Talk to us about this new project, The Last Real. Man, The Last Real, it was like, The Last Real was like, it was an EP. It was like an introduction, you feel me? Letting people know, like, some people understand what the last real means, some people don't. For y'all who don't, like, the last time you buy something, like, if you finna shut down your taco shop, the last time you buying tacos, you gonna stop selling dope, last time you selling dope. So, it was like, the last time I reading up on dope, because, like, they gave me a chance, you feel me? Opportunity of a lifetime. 
I don't really make no sense to, you feel me, keep doing that. And I know I'm known for that, but I got too many felonies, you feel me? So that, 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 the title of it was real, you feel me? And they just, we came up, every, the whole team came up with it together, you feel me? And it's just like the whole situation. Like I got so many felonies, like, if I was to go federal, like, just my points I real with no charge. My lawyer told me I'd get like 22 years. Oh, wow. Anything. Anything. Feel me? So it's like, you got to think. I done did too much time. Like, it keep getting worse and worse. Like, y'all boys out there, just slow down. Take your time. Don't make it worth it. You feel me? Cross your teeth, dot your eyes. Real free, free rule. Yeah, that was like that was gonna be my first artist, Pyru Pappy. Yeah, he um he in the federal right now. He just got caught like six, seven times. He fighting, you know, whatever. But he real Pyru. We still got his tape still gonna drop, you know, after whatever happened, whatever happened. So it don't contradict whatever. You know. Did but you ex Roo. did you expect Blue Cheese to blow up? Absolutely not. Like, and that's what I tell people. The streets gonna pick the single. You can't be in the studio stressing about a single. Just make music and put it out. The streets gonna pick the single. Like, Blue Cheese was a recorded in an apartment with, I mean, a condo with eight people walking around talking, <laughs> phones ringing, video. Like, it was crazy. Blue Cheese started me and Intro doing like a little documentary, and Carl Paul was making the beat. And I'm just sitting on the couch like this. So this was me and intro first time in the studio, but we was at the condo. So when I caught the rhythm, like anybody tell you, if you go in the studio with me, once I catch that fish flow, it's a wrap. I had not caught it. Carl Paul, don't put none another instrument in it, load it up. He's like, what? Yeah, don't mix it, man. Just like that. And like, I rapped on it. I looked back, saw TK. He think he was passing me the blunt. He ain't smoking TK. He smoking for the D. So it was getting real. And young, everybody like, when we go out of town, you know, you got to have your stash small, you feel me? So blue cheese was real. Mm -hmm. So young might be over there with a 30. It's small, you feel me? TK got a 15. You know, I got like an 18. So it's like, thumbing through the blue cheese with the whole team. And you know, fly, keep him old, neat, fly. He gonna pull out. <laughs> so it was just crazy. And it just, it just worked. Like, if you watched the little making of it, we saw intro in there like that. I was like, yeah. And when, just when we was in LA, he was filming. And I called him again. He was like this. I said, yeah, I got him again. So I just go out with other people's energy and just and keep making music. Yeah. And you guys got a uh, nine to five out right now, too. Man, I got trapped in my blood. Can't wear no nine to five. That was that was like another record. Like Young liked that record. I was real like when Young asked me to airdrop him something, he liked it. He asked me to airdrop him that. So like one thing about me, when I make a song, I only want to hear it. Cause I don't want to get stuck on that flow. So if I record something, I might step out the studio, you do your thing, but by the time I come back in, go to the next beat. And we're gonna go on a whole nother vibe. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of them songs, I pull up. Them boys be like, but what y'all did over there? I go to Planet. Hold up, what? No, no, hold up. They don't even know. I done to them forgot the song. <laughs> <laughs> so I just go out there and just put a star by that. Mm -hmm. But I just make a lot of, lot of music. Like when y'all see me uploading four, five in the morning, yeah, even if I'm in the car, I'm making gas. All, everything I probably ever made, get yeah, like nine to five, car, cheese, car, all that, car. Yeah. Did car. you ever work a regular job? Yeah, when I was in work, me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and they made me. I they mean, made like, you, yeah. Even then, I was like paying to come out. Yeah, I tell the job, let me pay y'all and pay my chick just to come out. And I'd come there every day. I'd be too scared to leave. I wouldn't say scared. I'd just say cautious. Yeah, I just post up route in the back all day. That's how I drop steel trapping. 
on the iPhone. Hmm. I was in work leave. Yeah, shout out to Sean. Me and Sean was in work leave together. Like, shout out to Nuke. Me and Nuke been in work leave together. Mario, all them boys, we done been in work. Pacquiao. Man, I done been on the road with like some real artists. That's why I tap in with people like, because they be real. Yeah, it seems like you and uh, Pee Wee Longway got a good relationship too. Man, shout out to Longway, man. Longway ready for me to pull up and drop that wrist froze video, but <laughs> I, don't, I ain't really ready yet, Longway. When we drop it, it got to be right. It got to be a bit. See, like outside back open now, we got to be allured when that bit up, up. Like, yeah, I down to need everybody in that bit that night. Feeling like some Gucci man birthday type shit. Brian T. Riff, bro. I need to zoom in. Gucci Riff, even if we don't put his face in it, we need it, Riff. Baby, all them boys, you feel me? So I just wanted to be like, because the song kind of like gave me an Atlanta vibe, you feel me? So, like, you know, I fuck with everybody in the H.I. boy, Eldorado Red, Dia, Dead, Sino, uh, everybody, you feel me? Y'all know I'm heavy. Gucci man is doing future flowing. Everybody, man. Free Rollo, y'all already know that, but 21, all them boys. Feel me? I'm a real one, like, I ain't, I don't bang, you feel me, for everybody. I'm American, you feel me? Like, I'm just normal. I'm just a real one. Oh. All right. What was your reaction when you learned you won that BMI award? Man, I'm so green. <laughs> you didn't even know what it was? <laughs> I knew what it was. I didn't know how big it was though. Like, you know, I'm thinking like the social star, like, you feel me? I'm just thinking it's like the Instagram vibe or something like that. But when I looked, like it was Mulatto on there and the other cat had like 540,000 followers. So I'm like, damn, what, what's really going on? You feel me? So that's when Fly like, yo kid, this big, bro. This mean you got real authentic fans. Like your fans really tapping in on every social media. Cause I, I was seeing people like posting, oh, I just started a Twitter just for Bobby Fish or whatever, like you feel me? I'm like, damn, I feel But it was big though. Then when I actually got the award, it was big, gold bar, glass, heavy. I'm like, whoa. Then like the president of um, BMI called me and was like, man, he did it, well, like, and the type of music you got, like, it's big, like, you opening doors. And, like, shout out to Bill, my man, everybody over there. Shout out to everybody who voted, too. Yeah, you got a hell of a fan base. They went crazy for you. They that. went crazy, kid. Like, it's real. It's authentic. Even, like, shout out to Moot Boy. I went to Moot Boy Tate release party the other night. And I got 50 followers all hand in hand. <laughs> and I'm telling people, this is how I get my followers. When y'all stop me in the mall, ask anybody. Yeah, I don't just want your IG. Yeah, I'm, give me a little brother on IG too. Yeah, I'm following y'all too. Yeah, y'all boy tap in, just be safe, feel me? Y'all think about plotting on the lip, go break somebody out, don't do it. Just chill, sound good, I'm coming, feel me? Yeah. All right. What's next for you, Bobby? You working on a new project? I ain't gonna lie, man, I just left LA, man. Gotta say shout out to my IG. Shout out to Derek Milano. Shout out to Spill My Ink. Shout out to Project Ed. Like, we got something crazy. Like, like I mean, even the track we leaked the other night, like when I shout out Mr. Capri, AKA Kodak Black, like, you feel me? You know, that went crazy. So, like, the streets just waiting. But we got, we finna drop like three minutes tape. I'm gonna go back to the DJ hosting. You feel me? Yeah, <laughs> host it bit. I wanna. Go back to the real trap music era, like, you feel me? Let, we gonna talk, we gonna let y'all know what's going on in the street. Yeah, so when you listen to this later, it's still gonna mean something to you, yeah. And like, they, if the DJ say free Kodak, you gonna know 10 years from now that when the boy dropped this, Yike was locked up, you feel me? That why Yike ain't on it, whatever, like, even anything, you feel me? Just give it more meaning, you feel me? It's gonna be like a movie. Our mid tape gonna be like a movie. Mm -hmm. Think you'll drop another one this year? Right. I'm trying to drop this any day. <laughs> <laughs> this year. Not playing. Man, we could have dropped this, man. Pop, 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 pop.
Yeah, no cap. Yeah, call my own boss. Like, I could do this as long as I just take do it the right way. Yeah, do what I want to do. I want to drop three mixtapes with three DJs from di three different states, ten different songs on each one and the album. Hmm. Yeah, I just did 12 songs in my city with 12 artists from that bit. Ask them. 17 hours studio shift. Then I flew straight to LA, did 62 hours in four days. Yeah, straight to the video shoot last night. I think I had jet lag or something last night. I done it, couldn't move. I was in that bit long. Yeah, they was calling me like black youngster in the city. Cola P. I'm telling them, boy, boy, I think I'm still on LA time. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Then the shower at the room was cold. I just got on the blank. It was over with. <laughs> yeah. But we working though. That's what it's about, man. Like, shout out Dirty Glove, man. They got a beautiful facility here. They got movie scene, studio, uh, marketing. They got a chessboard up there. Somebody has something to beat up there. <laughs> I love it here. Appreciate it. <laughs> and that. shout out that address right there, man. Y'all know what that is. What we on Gresham, Boulder Curry right now. <laughs> <laughs> we at the Red Store at Edgewood with Alley Boy. <laughs> Shout out to the A man. Any last words, Bobby? Before we wrap this up, man. Anybody out here doing this music, just know it's possible. Just know I came from the bottom, from the dirt. I came from farther under than you. Yeah, you. I was fucked up worse than you. Yeah, you ain't been up that road four times. Yeah, I lost it all a lot of times. You ain't did that. So whatever you got, make something out of it. Fish, fish care family. Shout out to boy Weezy, G Thug, Weezy Bird. Y'all. Yeah. Turn the scale on, I had to start my fucking day. Got some niggas want some hard, got some niggas want some plate. Got some J's in the yard, who could cook? They